Apple Watch Ultra 3. Why this could be the most important smartwatch launch of 2025 every September, Apple manages to dominate headlines across the tech world, but the buzz surrounding Apple Watch Ultra 3 feels different. This isn't just another smartwatch refresh with a new color or slightly improved sensor. This time, Apple appears to be aiming much higher. What makes the Ultra 3 so exciting is that it represents the perfect balance between two competing needs in the smartwatch world extreme fitness performance, and everyday lifestyle integration. For years, brands like Garmin have focused heavily on professional-level sports tracking, while Apple has leaned more toward convenience, design, and ecosystem synergy. But the Apple Watch Ultra 3 seems ready to bridge that gap once and for all, and that's exactly why so many fitness enthusiasts, Apple fans, and even longtime Garmin users are looking at this watch with intense curiosity. The big question is, simple. Has Apple finally created the perfect all-rounder smartwatch? A device powerful enough to satisfy endurance athletes, yet intuitive and seamless enough to improve the daily lives of regular users. To answer this, we need to go deep into what the Apple Watch Ultra 3 is rumored to deliver. Its design changes, performance upgrades, battery life improvements, health and fitness innovations, and, perhaps most importantly, its ability to function as a natural extension of the Apple ecosystem. Apple vs. Garmin, the smartwatch rivalry. Before diving into the Ultra 3 leaks and confirmed details, let's first talk about the broader battle happening in the smartwatch world. For years, Garmin has been the undisputed king of endurance sports watches. Devices like the Garmin Fenix 8 Pro have pushed the limits of battery life, fitness tracking, GPS accuracy, and data analytics. Athletes and adventurers rely on them for ultra marathons, triathlons, mountain expeditions, and weeks-long hikes. With solar charging options, rugged military-grade durability, and in-depth performance metrics, Garmin watches are trusted by professionals who demand the very best. But here's the catch. Garmin watches often feel disconnected from everyday life. Their software ecosystem, Garmin Connect, while powerful for sports analytics, feels isolated compared to Apple's tightly integrated platform. Garmin devices excel at fitness tracking, but they fall short when it comes to replying to messages, managing notifications, handling payments, or controlling other devices in your digital ecosystem. Apple, on the other hand, has taken the opposite approach. Since the launch of the original Apple Watch in 2015, the focus has been integration, convenience, and design. Apple Watches seamlessly interact with iPhones, Macs, iPads, Apple TV, and even services like Apple Pay and iCloud. This makes them irreplaceable for millions of users, not just athletes, but students, professionals, and everyday people who value efficiency. However, Apple's Achilles heel has always been battery life and extreme fitness performance. Most Apple Watches last about a day or two before needing a recharge, while Garmin devices can last a week or even a month depending on the model. This is where the Apple Watch Ultra line came in. The original Ultra and Ultra 2 were Apple's attempts to close the gap with Garmin by introducing rugged builds, larger batteries, brighter displays, and better GPS performance. And now, with the Ultra 3 in 2025, it feels like Apple is finally ready to deliver a device that combines Garmin's strength in fitness with Apple's strength in lifestyle design and build. Ultra 3, rumors design has always been central to Apple's philosophy and the Ultra 3 is rumored to refine what's already considered one of the best-looking rugged smartwatches on the market. Leaks suggest that Apple could introduce new finishes, possibly a darker midnight titanium option in addition to the natural titanium look. Titanium has been praised for being both incredibly strong and lightweight, and Apple has proven with the iPhone 15 Pro that it can deliver a premium feel while keeping weight manageable. The Ultra 3 is also expected to maintain the large 49mm case size, but improvements in material engineering could make it slightly thinner and lighter, addressing one of the biggest criticisms of previous Ultra models, they felt a bit bulky on smaller wrists. The action button, introduced in the Ultra 1 and 2, is rumored to gain new software customization features, allowing athletes and explorers to assign even more functions like instant workout tracking, compass waypoints, or even shortcuts to third-party fitness apps. 
And of course, Apple will likely keep the flat sapphire front crystal and rugged design language, making the Ultra 3 durable enough for hiking, swimming, diving, and extreme sports, while still polished enough to wear with a suit at the office. Display upgrades. Brighter, smarter, more efficient. One of the crown jewels of the Ultra lineup has been its display technology. The Ultra 2 already stunned reviewers with a 3000 nit display, the brightest Apple has ever shipped. Rumors now point to the Ultra 3 refining this even further, not necessarily by pushing brightness higher, but by making the display more power efficient and adaptive. Expect improvements in LTPO, low temperature polycrystalline oxide, OLED panels, which will allow smoother transitions between refresh rates, helping preserve battery life during always-on display usage. Apple may also bring smarter color profiles and enhanced outdoor visibility, making the Ultra 3 the ultimate watch for athletes training in direct sunlight. There are even whispers about micro-LED technology being tested for future Apple watches, but most analysts agree that 2025 is still too early for that transition. Instead, the Ultra 3 will likely deliver refinements to OLED, giving us better efficiency without sacrificing vibrancy. Battery life. Closing the gap with Garmin, here's where the Ultra 3 might truly shine. Apple has long been criticized for its limited battery life compared to Garmin, but the company seems determined to change that. The Ultra 2 already stretched battery life to 36 hours on a single charge, with low power modes pushing it even further. With the Ultra 3, insiders suggest that Apple is targeting 48 hours of regular use and potentially up to 72 hours in low power mode. This would be a massive leap forward for Apple and bring the Ultra lineup much closer to Garmin's endurance-focused offerings. Reports also mention a new stacked battery design, a more efficient way of layering battery cells inside the watch chassis, alongside a more efficient chip, likely the S10 processor, that will optimize power consumption across all tasks, RE. Adventurers, hikers, and marathon runners, this could be game-changing. Imagine completing a full weekend hiking trip with GPS tracking without needing to recharge your watch every night. For everyday users, this means fewer charging sessions and more confidence that your watch won't die in the middle of a busy workday. Health and Fitness Tracking Beyond Steps and Heart Rate Apple has always marketed the Apple Watch as a health companion, but the Ultra 3 is expected to introduce even deeper health and fitness capabilities. Rumors suggest upgrades to the optical heart rate sensor, a more accurate temperature sensor, and potentially even new sleep tracking features such as a sleep score system similar to what Garmin already offers. Sleep tracking has been one of Garmin's biggest advantages, with detailed metrics that many athletes rely on. If Apple introduces a comparable sleep score system integrated into the Apple Health ecosystem, it could eliminate one of the few reasons hardcore fitness users prefer Garmin. Other fitness rumors include more advanced VO2 max tracking with improved accuracy, expanded running metrics, including ground contact time and stride length, better recovery insights, possibly tied into Apple's growing AI-powered health coaching initiatives, enhanced cycling support, with power meter integration rumored for 2025. And of course, the Ultra 3 will continue to support diving features, ocean sports tracking, dual frequency GPS, and emergency safety functions like fall detection and SOS. These may sound like small conveniences, but together they create an experience that Garmin simply cannot replicate. The Ultra 3 isn't just a fitness tracker. It's a lifestyle companion that saves time, increases productivity, and fits seamlessly into daily routines. Release date and price, what to expect. Apple has officially confirmed it's September 9th, 2025 event, and the Apple Watch Ultra 3 is almost certain to be announced there. Pre-orders will likely open that same week, with shipping beginning by mid-September. In terms of pricing, expect the Ultra 3 to remain in the same ballpark as the Ultra 2, around $799 in the US. Apple has little reason to change this pricing, structure since the Ultra has carved out its premium niche. However, if new finishes or band options are introduced, we could see slight variations. Why the Ultra 3 could be the best smartwatch of 2025. The Apple Watch Ultra 3 feels like the culmination of years of iteration. It addresses Garmin's strengths in battery life and health metrics while doubling down on Apple's ecosystem integration and design excellence. 
For professional athletes, it may not yet replace every Garmin device, but for the vast majority of users, including fitness enthusiasts, outdoor adventurers, and everyday people, the Ultra 3 could strike the perfect balance. It's not just about specs on a page. It's about how seamlessly a device fits into your life. And if the rumors are true, the Apple Watch Ultra 3 could finally be the smartwatch that gives you both peak performance and everyday convenience without compromise.